part seven of the storm section of Kindred, Margaret Whalen chooses Dana to be her caregiver because she remembers how Dana used to read to Rufus. One day, Dana passes a line of slaves in chains being marched down the road. The slaves in the cookhouse had known about a slave sale. Dana hadn't. Rufus explains that Tom Whalen made arrangements for the sale before he died. In part eight, Dana regrets not having killed Rufus. She tells Carrie, who, using gestures to respond, explains that if Rufus dies, everyone on the plantation will be sold and separated from their families. The slaves also believe Dana is acting like a white person. Nigel explains a gesture Carrie makes means that Dana's skin color does not rub off, and she shouldn't care about what others say about her. In part nine, Rufus and Dana avoid each other for a few days, until one morning, Rufus asks Dana to speak with him in the library. After arguing, Rufus says he wants her to write business letters for him. His father left debts in the wake of his death. Rufus attempts to bribe Dana with a stack of paper, very expensive in the 1800s, and tells her she may use it to write stories. Rufus says he hopes he doesn't need to sell any additional slaves. Dana considers his offer. In part 10, one night, while Dana and Alice are alone, Alice asks if Rufus takes Dana to bed. Dana tells Alice that she and Rufus don't have a sexual relationship. Alice says she and Dana look alike, and Rufus sees them as two halves of one woman. In part 11, Dana waits for Alice to have her baby, hoping it will be her ancestor, Hagar. Dana explains to the reader how slaves jump over a broom in their wedding ceremonies. Rufus asks Dana if she has found someone on the plantation she wants to jump the broom with. If she has, he would sell that slave. She tells Dana she wants to run away after the baby is born. Dana agrees to help Alice. In part 12, Alice gives birth to a girl, and she names the baby Hagar. Dana is ecstatic. When the baby is only a few weeks old, Alice confides in Dana that she still plans to run away, maybe very soon. Rufus tells Dana that he wants to free the children and send Joe to school in the North. Alice tells Dana this promise is good only if it's written on paper. In part 13, Rufus sells the slave he thought was flirting with Dana. Dana begs Rufus to reconsider, and Rufus hits her, something he has never done. Dana runs to the attic carrying a warm water basin and slits her own wrists.